everybody, Jesse here for 3 Prong Gaming, and in today's episode, we are just going to go ahead and update our project. Uh, it is currently at 4.10. You've probably already updated, but uh, for those of you that haven't, I will show you my process. It's pretty much the same process for every single time I update it. Um, I have updated this just to test it out, see what I was getting myself into, um, and I'm not looking forward to having any problems in this. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, I was kind of hoping for some errors. Um, just to show you how to handle the errors, but uh, it seems like the project updated just fine But let's go ahead and get to this um, first. Uh, let me just go ahead and say uh, Sorry, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video um, you know as a lot of you know the uh, I was having some uh, personal issues uh, my father just recently passed away and um, but now the kids are back in school and and I'm getting my head back straight so hopefully I'm gonna start getting back into these videos um, admittedly, I have to go back and uh, watch my last couple of videos. Um, I haven't opened up the project um, before today for quite a while. And so I've just got to get uh, re-familiar with the project, see where I left off, and then we can jump right back into it. Um, yeah, so first things first, uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sure you have the current version is 4.12.5. Um, so what all I do is I go ahead and open up my folder where I have all my projects listed in here and then I just right click copy it all right and then somewhere other than in this folder like uh, my desktop I will just paste it in a different location and save it as a backup you can copy or um, update your project in uh, um, in place um, or open up a copy of it um, I don't like doing that for various reasons. A lot of time, mostly because I use Perforce for uh, most of my projects. I don't for this one, um, but it's just a, a habit I do and get into. So find your project. All right, you don't want to double click it and open it like you normally do because it'll just open the 410 editor, regardless of which editor you have here as default. Go ahead and click your launch button on the 4.12.5 link and let it go ahead and open up. All right, now that's open up, we get this list right here. Just scroll, uh, scroll down or click the uh, scroll wheel here and it'll open it all up and, and give you a list of all of them. Now you'll see pretty much all of them are grayed out. This is, um, as most of you know, I have two copies, a working copy and the one I record with um, when I'm doing my uh, tutorials. Um, so you'll see the one that we wanna update right here is grayed out, meaning that it's not a 4.12 project. So we double click on that it's going to ask you here, this project was made with a different version of the Unreal Engine. Opening it with this version of the editor may prevent it opening an original editor and may lose data. We recommend you open a copy of to avoid damaging the original. So like I said, you can open a copy and it'll do pretty much what we did. It'll create a, a separate copy for you before it updates it. Um, like I said, I don't do that. It'll do it in place. It'll do it in the same folder. So you'll actually have two copies in the same folder. You'll notice... Um, it, you probably noticed when I hovered over it that it, it showed or when I opened up uh, this right here, it says 4.9 dash copy 4.10. This one, I did that. I opened a copy of it and this was actually the copy. See, this was the original. It was called 4.9 copy. And when I uh, copied it in place, then it just appended a 4.10 at the end of it. And that's what I did with that one when I updated to 4.10. Um, but I'm not going to with this. It makes it seem like that you have no other options, but just click more options here and it's going to give them all to you. I'm going to go ahead and click convert in place. And it's just going to open up that error. So let's go ahead and let it open up. We'll be right back. All right. So here we are. We are in the project and really you can't tell right away if there's any problems. There's a couple things you can do. Go ahead and just click the down arrow here next to build. At the bottom, you'll see map check. Just go ahead and click that. It's going to open up and it'll give you errors and warnings if there are any. This is all errors within the map. Um, if there's compile errors or load errors or editor errors, it'll also show it in here. So you can just select these if it has uh, a number afterwards. Um, all these errors are, and you'll probably get these still in 4.9 because we put uh, these buildings in here and there's stuff that these buildings need that they don't get until we start the game um, from the level blueprint if you remember that it actually loads and stores data in these once we start the game so but before we start the game it shows them as errors so uh, don't be uh, too worried about those it's just fine it tells you what it is 
Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, this won't always tell you right away if there's any errors. The best way to find out if you've got any errors, um, first things first, just hit play. And of course my windows over on my other screen. So we bring it over in here and then right away you could just quit and see if you get any error messages. We didn't get any. And then you just go through and you just stress test, um, where's my cursor, there it is. You just stress test the game and uh, do it like uh, you normally would, two, three. All right, we drop them and, and so far everything seems to be all right. These guys are gonna go find a house, then they're gonna find the job. All right, and you just go through and you just check it and make sure that everything seems to be okay. All right, these guys are at their place of work, drop that in. And let's see if they get to work. All right, get in there and go ahead and we'll complete this construction. See what happens. I think this is pretty much as far as we've gotten, as far as what they do. Um, I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I've got to go through the project because both my uh, video project as well as the uh, uh, one I do behind the scenes uh, as my cheat sheet, um, they're a little bit different. So I've got to go through the videos and see exactly which one's which. And so let's just go ahead and close this out and we get absolutely no errors. Uh, most of the time when you get errors, what they're gonna be is um, they'll add a new function or they'll change a function. Um, I think uh, the last time I updated from 4.9 to 4.10, um, they did some work on timers and they deprecated um, one of the function. I think it was a, the clear timer. Um, they still had it. You could still use it. It doesn't really affect the game, but um, what they tell you with deprecation means the next major update. So like if, uh, say for example, this one gave us the timer error and said that the clear timer was being deprecated. Well, it would still work in 4.12. You'd get the warning every time that you stopped uh, playing the game. Um, it'd pop up as a warning down here, so that'd be a little bit annoying if you didn't fix it. Um, but what that means is ultimately by 4.13, you can no longer use that note. So they give you a version to be able to go through and clear out all your problems um, before the next major update. And then, um, But when they deprecate a node, they usually give you a, a different one to use in its place, a more updated version. So then you just go through all the place you have the errors and uh, or the warnings and you replace the node and it'll tell you when they deprecate it, there'll be a, a tool tip with it and you just hover over the tool tip and it'll tell you what the new node is that you have to use in its place. So then you just drop in the new node and you hook it up. It's a pretty easy process. Like I said, I was hoping that we were actually gonna get a couple errors with this so I could show you guys that process. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I, not necessarily, unfortunately, we didn't have any errors. It's always nice not to get any errors or warnings. Um, but at the same time, it would have been nice to show you guys that. Um, version 4.13 preview one is actually out. So 4.13 is right around the corner. Um, I don't know when their expected release date of that is, but uh, um, it's gonna be a pretty decent size update, I believe. Of course, 4.12 was a pretty decent size as well. So I, I was actually expecting to have a few errors with this, especially since um, I'm jumping 4.11 with this. We never update. I thought I did, but uh, apparently we never updated this version from 4.10 to 4.11. Um, so we jumped that version into 4.12. So I expected there to be some sort of errors in this, but we didn't get any, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I really wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm back. Um, for the most part, I'm still right at this point. I'm busy at work. I'm still uh, working. I'm working about 50 to 60. Last week, I worked 58 hours last week. So, uh, yeah, it, I'm still a little bit busy. Um, it's going to start winding down soon, but I've got to go back in. Like I said, I've got to go back in. I've got to go through the project. I've got to watch my last couple videos just to see exactly where I left off and just, just try to get my, my mind back in the frame of things. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I still have been kind of playing with uh, Unreal a little bit. Um, I haven't really touched it in like a month, but I was working on something else, uh, kind of the next project that I was working on. Um, so, you know, I'm not too uh, lost with uh, Unreal and forgot how to, to operate in there, but I am a little lost in the project. So um, let me do that, and hopefully, maybe by the end of this week, 
Um, I'll try to get another video up. It depends on, on how work goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I will get the next video out. We will get this updated and, uh, or not updated, but we will get this uh, progressing and, and get at least the last couple of videos. I told you guys there's at least a couple more videos I want to do to kind of round this out, show you guys a few things because um, we need to get the uh, NPC to sleep and regain their stamina. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the eating uh, where they, they need hunger and stuff like that. Um, but there's a few other things that I, I want to do to get on this, and, and uh, we'll, sh we'll show you guys that before it's all said and done. Um, so, uh, until next time, thank you guys, everybody, for hanging in there with me and bearing with me. Um, I've gotten a ton of new subscribers, even without the videos. Um, I had that spotlight in the Unreal Editor, and that got me a ton of new subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, for hanging in there with me through this time and and uh yeah I'll, I'll try to reward you guys with some new videos uh, coming up and some new uh, not just with rts but uh, some new series as well so again thank you and uh if you haven't subscribed already please do me a favor go down and hit that subscribe button if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button as well and uh yeah until next time peace